Rafarin Emmanuel is asking, do you guys see Indonesia following Sharia law in the future? I'm not um, as informed about what's going on in Indonesia to be able to give you a well-informed answer. I mean, I do know that they have that province, Acha province, which does implement Sharia law and corporal punishment and stuff. So, and that's partially because of um, like an Islamist movement that they compromised with by giving them like limited autonomy, basically. So if there was some sort of like resurgence of that movement, maybe. Okay, guys, I think that there's a problem with this question. Okay. Because following Sharia law is not like a black and white zero hundred thing, right? You could, it's a spectrum, right? So for like, follow Sharia law to what degree, right? There are, certain, there are always going to be things in Indonesia that is going to be part of the law that is somewhat because of Sharia, right? But it's not going to be, you know, and that the level of influence that Sharia will have on the law in Indonesia it could increase at some times and it could re re be reduced at some times. It could be m higher in some provinces like Acha and then less in some other places, right? And this is kind of like, it's a kind of back and forth. Um, in, a, in the past couple of years, we have saw an increased level of influence of Sharia in law, right? But then recently we saw a backlash to that. I think we saw some government you know the government actually cracking down on a, some some islamist movements okay so it's a it's, it's a more of a more of a complicated um situation that needs to be discussed in more detailed um you know different positions of the government different laws in different places and different different decisions that the government is going to make when it comes to giving in to some islamist movements or tackling some islamist movements how much you know and also the level of investment that uh, and business relationship indonesia has and the tourism indonesia like for example um introducing some uh, a higher degree of sharia law in indonesia had a effect on indonesia's tourism a while back right like it could like people were being warned about not going to indonesia given that apparently you could get arrested for things uh, and then Indonesia having to come out and say, well, no, this is just for citizens. This is not for people outside. Yeah. yeah but again, these will, this is kind of uh, back and forth. It will never, Indonesia will never be to the level. If you're asking about following Sharia law, if you're ta if what you, if your question is about following it to the fullest degree, right? Uh, no, Indonesia will not become like that. Indonesia has too much uh, tourist financial interest, a relationship with other countries' interests you know, economic trades and so many other interests for it to go full on Pakistan with its Sharia. Like it's not going to go like, it's not going to become like that. Right. So, <clears throat> but yeah, but, but it will, it will increase and decrease in different areas and in on different issues from time to time, but not, not Pakistan level Sharia. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.